on today's episode of Huber Hype, the Nintendo juices are flowing. So everything's great. You got your regular Nintendo, you're playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Take Manhattan, you're playing your Game Boy, Mario and the Six Golden Coins. The love was there until one fateful day. It was a day in the early 90s when Mortal Kombat was being released. And game ratings were a new and foreign concept at the time. My older brother was three years older than me. And uh, we used to go down to the local Pizza Hut and play Mortal Kombat. People used to put their quarters up there to uh, signify their turn in line. And when we found out that Mortal Kombat on Super Nintendo was going to have sweat instead of blood and tame down the fatalities, no. Sega Genesis, from that point on, we didn't look back. We never had a Super Nintendo. Probably a huge mistake on my part. But then we have the Nintendo 64. GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, some of the most glorious local experiences I've ever had in my entire life with buddies, just ranting and raving about it every day at school. The bell would sound, people would sprint across the field to my house, everyone would just go, 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 on the floor, golden eye from sun up to sundown. Oh, uh, I used to have open challenges at my, my house. Anyone at school was able to challenge me in GoldenEye, and they would come to my house. Good friends, complete strangers, my professor, they would say, yo, you, open challenge, GoldenEye, let's go. I would say, let's go, you're on, license to kill, pistols only, facility, undefeated. So next up is GameCube. We got Super Mario Sunshine, kind of a divisive entry in this franchise. I remember them trying to sell me on the, uh, the water pack. I was just young and confused at the time. But what really sold me was Resident Evil Remake. Still one of the greatest looking games of all time, exclusive to the console at that point. Resident Evil 4, same thing. Just those two games alone by themselves is reason enough for me to own a GameCube. And that is maximum value right there. I, I will take those two games over a hundred other games. When I think of Wii, I only think of one thing, Girahim. My number one all-time favorite boss battle in the history of video games. I'm up in my room with my sword and shield. We're dodging, we're sidestepping, we're reflecting back, we're cutting, we're parrying, we're shield bashing, we're in this fight. VR, who needs VR when you got a Wii and Girahim? Which brings us to the tragic tale of the Wii U and I. I was getting older. My tastes were changing. I was growing out of touch. I looked at the Wii U and I said, there's nothing there for me. I wanna be online. I wanna be earning my trophies. I wanna be playing with my friends online. I wanna be playing these hardcore, story-driven, immersive experiences. I turned into beast. And I went down into the depths of my castle, shunning the outside world, until one day, it walked in, just like Belle did. Tropical Freeze came into my life unexpectedly and woke me up out of the deep slumber that I was in. It was just about being a video game. There were no gamepad gimmicks. There were no trophies to earn. There was no stress about being online. It was just me, the Kongs, and my living room floor. And that is all I'll ever need. At the end of the day, I keep getting older and Nintendo doesn't, and I love them for that. Coming up on a huge week for GameTrailers.com, it is the two year anniversary for the final Bossman. Hype it up, mark it down on the calendar, you don't wanna miss it. Also, brand new show, GT Live. It's gonna be a weekly talk show about video games hosted by none other than the voice of GameTrailers.com, Brandon Jones. And it begins Wednesday, March 11th. Also, the countdown is gonna be 
top 10 Souls bosses in honor of Bloodborne rapidly approaching on the horizon. So thanks for watching everyone. Again, here is my Twitter. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, positive or negative, please let me know. We're still just uh, basically in the wild west right here, fast and loose as Ian Inc. likes to say. We're just going with the flow and uh, hopefully see you at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> What? That's good. That's good. It's time for Heber's Cube! Turtles Hyperstone Heist! Superior to the celebrated Turtles in Time Super Nintendo version, Hyperstone Heist is on Sega Genesis. It's got a darker tone, it's more intense, and it's got Tatsu's Asian-themed hideout. Don't miss it. Do yourself a favor and play the superior version of a classic that nobody recognizes. <laughs>